you see when you get one guy needs girl as your wife first thing in the morning what she do she get up she cook she make breakfast for you second of all this is what she do she prepare lunch so when you come home you get a hot meal and plus is not on gas stove is on the fire side check me out this is how Guyanese girl cook see they know about the fire side and plus as you can see is nice hassle so we just waiting for the coconut milk to dry them plus we like with pepper and we like our mango in our curry so don't run for spanish girl because spanish girl you know and get hot me like where you're getting there you know you know you get a ripper so guy knees girl Gonna make your belly swell like you're looking nine months pregnant. Cheers. <laughs>
Sophia. A playful moment between friends has turned into a nightmare with the tragic death of a 12-year-old boy, Karim Durant. In this video, we'll take you through the heartbreaking details of what happened and discuss how the authorities are handling this shocking incident. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any new stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we bring you a difficult story out of Georgetown, a story of two young friends whose lives took a devastating turn. On Tuesday night, what started as a small dispute ended in a tragedy, as 12-year-old Kareem Durant was fatally stabbed by his 11-year-old friend in Cummings Park, Sophia. We'll be diving into what led to this heartbreaking incident, the police response, and the questions that now weigh heavily on the community. Let's start with what we know so far. On Tuesday evening, Kareem Durant and his 11-year-old friend, who were known to spend time together around their neighborhood, met up at Cummings Park, Sophia. The boys were playing near the parapet by the friend's home, where several PVC pipes were stored. At one point, Kareem reportedly pushed his friend off the pipes, a playful gesture that quickly went wrong when the boy fell to the ground. The friend, seemingly upset, ran inside his home and reported what had happened to his older brother. The brother then came out to confront Kareem, questioning him about the push. This situation could have ended there, with a quick apology or words exchanged, but, unfortunately, it escalated. Tensions rose between the two boys as emotions ran high. Following the confrontation, the situation spiraled out of control. It's reported that in the heat of the moment, the young friend allegedly grabbed a sharp object and stabbed Kareem. This quick, devastating act left Kareem fatally injured, and what had begun as a simple playtime dispute now had irreversible consequences. The families of both children, along with the entire community, were left in shock. The tragic event not only highlights the fragility of life, but has also raised concerns about how easily young friends' disagreements can escalate without proper conflict resolution guidance. Upon learning about the incident, authorities promptly responded, leading to the arrest of the 11-year-old suspect. The investigation is ongoing as the police work to understand the full context of what occurred. Meanwhile, the community is mourning the loss of Kareem, and questions are being raised about the root causes of such violent behavior among children. Community leaders and school officials are also weighing in on how to address conflicts among youth before they turn tragic. This heartbreaking case has sparked conversations around youth violence, mental health, and the need for better communication and conflict resolution skills in communities. The tragic death of Kareem Durant is a somber reminder of how even small disputes can have devastating consequences. It's clear that as a society, we need to look closer at ways to support our youth in managing emotions and disagreements in healthy, non-violent ways. Our thoughts go out to the families and friends affected by this unimaginable loss. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time. Thank <laughs> you.